Aries, hi, it's Lisa here from What's in Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for November 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So I'm doing these monthly readings before I go to work, when I get home from work, so hence the glasses and no contact lenses just pretty much straight into it <laughs> so, so I can get them uploaded this weekend which I always say by the time you watch this obviously they're uploaded so alright Aries Overall, Three of Wands. It is reversed. Not feeling like there's much clarity around a situation at the moment. Something or someone. Things seem a bit foggy. Things seem a bit murky. It might be that you're only getting um, half stories here. There's just something that's not quite clicking into place. Um, I do clarify everything shortly. Present energies. You do have the Magician. So manifesting a good result here, creating the magic, creating the process to get the results that you're wanting. And it's crossed with the Wheel of Fortune, upright and upright, getting on, moving forward, manifesting a way to move forward to bigger and better things. Love that. Strength area, again, you've got a reversal here with the Three of Pentacles. Feeling like you're doing it on your own, though. Upright, it's talking about partnership, collaboration, working together to build something solid. But I feel like with that reversed, it feels like you're doing this journey on your own at this stage, I'm going to say. Focus area, King of Swords, it is upright. Taking action here, using your head over your heart, thinking things through very clearly, very logically. You know what you need to do to get things upright and to get things moving forward here. Past energies, you had a lot of options in the past, Seven of Cups. It may have been that you're quite overwhelmed by the options that were presented to you. Um, sometimes it can be quite daunting to have all of these doors suddenly appear in front of you and it's like, well, which one am I going to open next? Incoming energies, Princess of Cups, no it's not, it's the Princess of Swords, sorry about that, reversed, okay, upright, it's up for the challenge, sitting back at the moment while you do try and figure things out and figure a way forward here, so yes, while you're wanting that upright and get things happening, taking action to get stuff happening, it's all around having this clarity first, which is not happening as it should just yet. What you need to know, Knight of Cups, it is reversed. Possibly missed opportunity when it comes to love here with this Knight of Cups. May have been you offering love, it may have been someone offering love to you, it may have been love love, it may have been a job you love, it may have been around a home that you love. But there feels like that you have been, there has been a missed opportunity with that. We will try and clarify that upright when shortly. Okay, the Emperor, how others see you. Wow, you've got this under control, okay? feel like you may be putting on a very brave front at times and everybody sees you as having it all held together and things are just rocking and rolling your way and working for you. They don't see all this underlying turmoil that you may be having to deal with. Divine Masculine Energy, it's your own energy, could be dealing with another Aries. Love that, very brave, very confident, very logical and level-headed. Hopes and fears, upright, two of wands. You know where you want to be heading and it's all about getting the action happening and getting things moving towards these goals and these dreams. They don't just land in your lap. Well, 99% of the time they don't. But again, that two of wands to this three of wands overall reversed. You know what you want, who you want, where you want to be. But it's just a bit clouded with a... Um, getting some sort of plans into place of how you're going to get to that goal and that destination. And overall, for your final outcome, it is reverse seven of pentacles. I don't want to say you're about to give up here, but the hard work, again, still doesn't, feels like you're putting all this hard work in and you're not getting any results out of that because that is reversed as well. And again, it comes back to this clarity that um, is not really... I'm going to say, your eyes aren't open to the opportunities possibly that are there in front of you. 
sometimes it takes a hell of a lot to dig deep and see what some of these opportunities are but in saying that Aries we will clarify everything as I said starting with three of wands reversed overall Let's see what that's doing here seven of pentacles the hermit four of wands could be dealing with a Virgo, putting a lot of hard work in to get some stability, get some commitment. Whether you, this is around love, around work, around home, there's time to do some soul searching. Take a steep, steep, <laughs> take a step back, <laughs> and um, do some contemplation here. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and that's allowing things to become a bit more clearer, a bit more brighter, and you are able to see a bit more um, with that more clarity around that but it does take this hard work to get things on track there wow aries <laughs> present energies the magician Got these two first so four of pentacles princess of cups strength could be dealing with Leo here. There is love on offer here. It's taking a lot of strength for somebody, and I feel like it's the guts plucking up the courage to offer this love. Whether it's you offering love, someone's offering love to you, but there is something that needs to be released first in order for this next chapter to get off the ground. There is something that's being held on to here, and I feel like it's taking a lot of strength and a lot of manifestation to release something or someone so this journey can get underway but it is crossed with the wheel of fortune moving forward to bigger and better things here seven of swords prince of wands nine of cups and you're walking away from this deceptive energy backstabbing here there's been a lot of drama here that you've had to deal with walking away with your head held high there is love here in front of you as i said sometimes you need these eyes wide open to see what is there in front of you but you do have this focus of what you want who you want where you want to be and getting things moving no matter how rocky the ride is you are in this journey for the long haul with that three of pentacles reversed the star the full eight of pentacles could be dealing with an aquarius here the focus is on your wishes your dreams your hopes here and you're ready to jump in two feet and all you've put a lot of hard work in a lot of dedication paying attention to the minor details and now you're ready to just jump in two feet and all and get this happening and get things moving enough is enough and it's like let's get this ball rolling and in you go I think feel like you're worrying about the after effects after the event King of Swords in your focus area, love this. Six of Cups, Six of Swords, Four of Swords. There is something from the past that is trying to hold you back here. And it's like you are needing some time out for yourself to do some healing, look after number one, but also to start planning a way of moving forward. And it's something you're not wanting everybody to know about just yet. And um, you're taking this time out for yourself to figure things out for yourself going to say with that but to figure things out very logically clarifying that king of swords I feel like this is about following your own heart here what makes you truly happy seven of cups in the past upright yet transition princess of pentacles ten of cups there may have been some offers on the table here in the past that was worth looking at there's a lot of emotional happiness contentment and you're able to close this door off from the previous past even further back in order to focus on starting to move ahead possibly when it comes to love but there is this offer being made confident the two of you do make a good team together it may be around work it may be around home but i feel like for some of you this is actually around love and there were options that the two of you were able to explore together incoming energies princess of swords reversed yet the seven of cups we just clarified five of cups the sun sometimes there's so many options there's this amount of um, sadness that you are having to deal with 
with whatever it is that did happen even further back in the past. I always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and get over it. It's done in everybody's own time, own way. But there's a lot of options to look at and I feel like you're starting to explore those options and you're finding what makes you truly happy, what brings you your warm fuzzy feelings, the happiness, the joy and what is able to give you that sense of relief and freedom from something or someone that's caused a great deal of sadness for you. That in itself gets this Princess of Swords upright and um, you're ready to take action here, as I said, to what truly makes you happy. So what you need to know, Knight of Cups reversed. Queen of Swords, Prince of Cups, same energy but it's upright right on top of that clarification there and the emperor again your own energy could be dealing with another aries but this offer of love is now upright you've got this sorted out you've got the situation sussed maybe a whole different approach than what you would usually take towards someone um, or something but i feel more someone especially with this offer of love but um, clearing the air very confident very brave very level-headed and ready to go for this you've got this under control and this is at that point with the emperor again where how others see you very strong energy princess of swords queen of wands the moon up for the challenge to get things happening you've got this confidence and determination to go after your dreams it's like yes i've got this i'm doing this let's get moving pretty much Hidden fears could be dealing with Pisces when things are a bit darker and greyer, especially around that Three of Wands overall reverse. We talked about not having as much clarity as you could have. That moon is giving you all the power it possibly can to show you your path there. The sun and the moon you've got out in clarifications, 24-7 illumination. That brings that Three of Wands up right where you are able to clearly see the bigger picture. Wow. So, Aries, hopes and fears, two of wands. You get the six of pentacles, king of swords, the deceiver. Maybe dealing with a Capricorn here, something or someone with negative energy that is trying to hold you back from moving forward. But you're able to think things through clearly and logically and figure out what's right for you. But you're able to identify what definitely is not right for you at the same time. Equal give and take. If you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. This could be that deceiver energy. But it's also getting control, getting that balance and alignment back into place. And thinking things through very clearly. And being able to release yourself from those negative chains that you may feel stuck to. Wow. Aries. Aries. So final outcome, Seven of Pentacles reversed. You get the Empress, King of Cups, Ace of Swords, and there you go, clearing the crap out. Always say, clearing the clutter, having a fresh start here. You're very intuitive, you're very aware of how you feel, of how someone else feels, and of what's going on around you, especially around this deceiver energy. You're in control of your emotions, you know what needs clearing out, and you know what needs to be kept to get this new journey on the road. It does take hard work, it's getting that Seven of Pentacles back upright, putting the hard work in to close one chapter off, and to get this new journey started with that Ace of Swords right there. So Aries, let's finish with what the universe has to say. You get the Tower reversed, Knight of Swords upright, Six of Pentacles upright. Okay, so there's still a point of feeling like there's something that needs to be released here but it's not able to be done right now. There's a bit of planning that needs to be put in place. Things need to be a bit more solid here. You're not rushing into things. You are thinking things through very carefully first to figure out what it is that needs to be released, what needs to be kept to build that solid foundation. And it comes with that clarity, getting that Three of Wands upright and seeing the bigger picture for what it really is. Something for what it is, someone for who they are, whether it's negative, whether it's positive, but having that clarity is key this month. So yeah, Aries, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week for the weeklies. See ya.
乾杯。